Hey guys, welcome to C++ Code Solutions. I'm Khumtaran Peculiar and today we're learning how to write our output to a file. We usually get our output here on the compiler CMD, but suppose you need output which could be a collection of students, grade, or anything else output on a file. So we're going to work on that today. Now let's open up our IDE and get working. Let's build our headers. Now, building our headers reminds me that because we're working with files, we need a C++ header to enable for that. C++ provides a header file called fstream, which is used for I.O. input-output. The fstream header file contains the definitions of two data types, the ifstream and the offstream. The ifstream is for input file stream and is similar to cin which is found in the iStream header. And the offstream is for output file stream and is similar with cout, which is found in the ostream header, io stream. And now this is f stream. Okay, now let's carry on. Now build our main function and the structure. First things first, declarations of variables which we will use. So our problem today, we will simply write a code that adds two integer numbers and displays the output in a file. Simple enough, right? Meaning we have two integer variable holders and the holder for the sum. One more thing to remember is that we're working with a file, so we need a variable holder for this file also. But variable holders on declaration need both the data type and the name of the file holder. But what is the data type of the file? Remember I just mentioned that the fstream header file contains the definitions of two data types, the fstream and the offstream. So now because we're working on writing to a file, we'll be using the offstream. The output file stream data type so because we are right into a file we'll be using the off stream the output file stream and we'll have the file name be out file okay now let's get those two numbers from the user And we'll add them up here. Now to output, right? Like we would do with C out, but now we do with outline. Simple, right? One more thing, we should have done this just after the declaration part, but it's still okay to do it now. Before performing any operations on a file, you must first open it. Because we are writing to a file, we open this file using the off stream. And we'll have the file name in the function parenthesis. We can also add the location of the file. We will add the location. We will locate it on the desktop and we're going to be having it as a text file, txt file.
After using a file, it is important to close it also. If a C++ program terminates, it then automatically flush out all the streams, releases all the allocated memory, and closes all open files. It is, it is therefore a good alternative to use the close function. Now let us save our file. Oh, we've got an error on line 17. We used wrong operators here. Remember, this is the output stream like C out. So the operators should be facing inwards. Now let's see. Great. Now a 5 and a 10 should get us a 15. Let's see on our document. There on the desktop. Wow, that's great. Now, sometimes there's an error and this document doesn't get, this file rather doesn't get created. But the user will just keep searching the desktop, not knowing the compiler had an error and couldn't create it. So now let's create the solution for that to inform the user that there was an error in opening the file. If the file didn't open... error message and exit the code great now a 20 and a 30 should give us a 50 Let's see the file. Now, there we have it. Great working, guys. We really make a great team. And I hope that you keep telling more of your friends of our sessions so that we have a big group of coders. Okay, that's all for me today, guys. Let's meet on the next video.